Okay, so let's talk about the uh, rotation methods that we're going to be using in the Python from the Python environment. And uh, what I did was I just went ahead and um, you know picked out a few of the methods and wrote them in into one component. And so I just copied the the arguments from the the Python method to the outside of the component and that way we can play around with it inside of Grasshopper before we move into uh, writing our code in um, in Python. I, I decided that was the fastest way to go through this and so we have plane from normal, plane from frame, angle, angle 2, vector angle, vector rotate, and rotated rotate plane and then there's some arguments that we're going to write ourselves and that's a directional angle from vec to vec and plane orientated plane uh, vector plane rotate plane to vector remap point to world and remap uh, uh, so let's just go ahead and get started let's look at um, I want to show you something about angles first uh, where is vector angle? Okay, so I have uh, I put these points in and put them into a point list so we can see which was the first and which was the second. Um, okay, so we have. Uh, the first point or the point with index 0 and then we have the first point and with vector angle let's just plug these in and look at panel to see what we get so we get 90 so the the angle between these two is 90 now I'm gonna move one over here so the angle is also 90 uh, so you know it's giving us the angle between these two vectors but it's not giving us any kind of directional information it's not saying clockwise so much or counterclockwise uh, so we're gonna have to you know make our own thing like th that will give us uh, the directionality and uh, so uh, I need to mention that uh, in uh, in trigonometry, the uh, this is the convention that we use that from this x-axis uh, around this way is positive. Uh, so you'll see examples in if you'll remember back to trigonometry, that was what they had. And then so down here is going to be negative or positive 270 or 300 or something like that. So let's go ahead let's put vector angle back I should have uh, copied that uh, okay so let's take angle and let's get the XY plane in here okay so now let's see what angle gives us and uh, I want to make a note about this as well that angle returns let's just test it so down here I have the help function uh, so measures the angle between two points and it returns a tuple a tuple sorry uh, with element 0 is the XY angle element 1 the elevation and uh, some Delta down here so what we want is we want to just look at the XY angle in degrees and so that's why I have I put uh, the 0th uh, item out of our list over here so uh, so it's giving us 180 which if you look at this that's confusing why would it give us 180 and uh, when the angle between these is not 180 and then if you go over here it's going to be 0 
And the reason it's doing that is because uh, if you look up here, it's going off of this picture. And it's going from point 0.1 to point 0.2. So uh, point 0.1, and then it's reading it from the x-axis all the way around to 180. So if you look at this, that's 180. This will be 90. This will be 270. Uh, it'll be minus 90. It's the same thing. And this will be 0. So we don't want that. What we want uh, is to measure from the origin, the angle in between here. Uh, so we'll tackle that in the next video and uh, get started with uh, our first uh, little component, which is going to be directional angle from vec to vec and plane.